hello and welcome to this episode of microchips and today we have a customer repair on the bench which is a Hammond International Concorde 3 we've seen these on the channel before so let's see what's wrong with it but first don't forget to like share subscribe comment join the Facebook group have a look at my website all that lot and now a quick word about today's video sponsor PCBWay PCBWay is a China Shenzhen based PCB manufacturer and printed board assembler with more than a decade in the field of PCB prototype and fabrication they offer a wide range of services including 3D printing CNC machining sheet metal fabrication and much more PCBWay also offer a prototype PCB assembly service with component sourcing and online quote with 24 hour delivery services PCBWay is committed to meeting all of your PCB needs they offer quality on time delivery and competitive pricing one to two layer board start at five dollars with 24 hour turnaround get an instant quote by visiting pcbway.com or click on the link below to check them out let's get started so apparently this was in the guy's loft for many many years it used to work but then brought it back out of his loft and it had issues Now the problem is, immediately, is that when you switch the bleep on, and you transmit, it keeps the transmit on. There's one thing I wasn't sure of at the start, was that TXRX light seemed to be lighting up the green and the red. And even though the needle's moving, it's not actually producing any RF power. Now it's receiving so it's fine it's absolutely fine on receive it's just there's something wrong with transmit as well we open it up and we have a nice surprise now immediately i thought why but apparently um many many years ago this had a modification for a um a hands-free um kit that had a button on the gear stick and also there was voltage pushed up the microphone line for a yesu headset And we seem to have a, maybe this is one of those active ceramic filters. Seems to be in place of C117. A really, really, really big relay for just switching TX. But, interesting. Let's have a look at the back of the board. Looks like there's been a little bit of work around that. Uh, channel inversion unit maybe that's been replaced sometime in its life but everything else looks fine no other signs of any mutilation so let's have a look at the AVR capacitor and of course it's been leaking and it's rotted the track so we're going to change that and put some vinegar on it just to stop any further corrosion Little did I know, this had already happened. So we'll change the AVR cap. Just going to read it first. In the meter, should be 330 microfarad. And it's definitely out of spec, out of tolerance. Probably still works, but it's definitely leaked all its, all its juices all over the board and rotted the trace that lives right next to it. And even though the trace kind of looked okay, we're going to find out later. So, a bit of vinegar onto it, just to stop it rotting any further. In hindsight, I should have measured it straight away. That would have saved me a whole heap of hassle later on. But you live and learn. So we took out the power the powered microphone we'll tuck out that big janky relay and we'll reconnect up the microphone as it should be so actually transmitting does show something but it's not right it's nowhere near on frequency it's not giving any rf power the tiny sa is struggling to receive it So something's definitely not right there. It is doing something. 
you see as I'm changing the channel, it is changing the output or some output frequency. But it's not right. I'm still concerned about this RX and TX LED. I'm sure the green LED should fully go out when in transmit. So anyway, let's um, let's go further into it. See if we can find out the problem. We've got multiple problems to sort out. We've got the bleep to sort out, and we've got the transmit to sort out. So we're going to have a look at the bleep module. So that's that thick film unit there. I've been advised it could be one of the transistors on the thick film. So we're going to get that out. So I'll put a little bit of flux on it just to liven up the old solder and make the desoldering nice and easy. So there's our thick film unit. So I've been advised it's one of the transistors on the thick film unit that could be holding the TX line on. So I'm just measuring the suspect part. And it is measuring leaky across one of the junctions. So have we found the issue? Now this board is covered with a, a conformal coating. Which is going to make getting this part off even harder. So eventually I just go medieval style and just cut it off. I'm just going to tidy up the solder joints. We've got a new surface mount transistor. I had to put it on a piece of paper because it was actually melting the cloth underneath. So we'll put on our new surface mount transistor and see whether this cures our problem. go that should be good enough not the prettiest of jobs but it'll do let's try that so we'll solder it back into place just tack the center pin so it doesn't drop out and then go over it put the wire back Put the capacitor back. And it wasn't working. So I've actually took the thick film back out again. Put it in a test board. And trying it in my test radio. And you can hear the thick film works perfectly. So there was nothing wrong with the repair. Now we've put in the customer's 4011 um, gate IC. And you can hear that's doing strange things. Replaced it with a new 4011, and that's good. So I've put a replacement 4011 back into the radio. And having a little look around on the internet, somebody said about D57. And sure enough, it's leaky. I wasn't actually searching for the fault. This post just come up, and somebody had the same issue. And funnily enough, this diode is, is leaky. I'll put it on the component tester, see what it thinks it is. We already know it's leaky. Component tester doesn't know what it is, so it's fine. So, switch the bleep on. Yep, it's working, so there's our bleep fixed. But we've still got an issue with the transmit and receive. So we're going to start pulling some suspect rotten caps out and have a look. And sure enough, we find rot on the board. 
And as you can hear, we have a, a broken trace. Now, I couldn't actually see this break, even under an eye loop. But the meter was showing that it's there. If we scratch a little bit further up, it's not there. It's definitely open circuit. So we're going to have to put a bridge wire across it. So we'll put that across the back of the board. Luckily, the service manual shows you the top traces. So you just have to cross-reference that and put it on. So there's our white wire. And whilst I was in there, I measured the AVR line, which goes all the way down to here. And guess what? It was open circuit. Or should we say it's not the AVR line, it passes past the AVR capacitor. And sure enough, that was our issue. As you can see now, the green light goes out correctly, and goes into transmit. We have full power. And everything is now working correctly. So, like I said earlier on in the video, I should have checked that trace a lot earlier. But, you live and learn. So I don't know whether that active ceramic filter is doing anything, but this thing's got a really, really good receive on it. It sounds really, really well. So I did a little bit of alignment on it, made sure the 10692, 10695 and all the crystals were okay. And you can actually hear somebody on the negative channels as well, which is quite unusual. Anybody knows what that language is, please leave a comment below. So yeah, this radio sounds really well. So I'm going to keep it on for a few days. Make sure nothing else appears. But yeah, a, um, a good repair, I think. So what have we learnt from that repair? Check the rotten traces first, and even if they look there, measure them. Because they could be open circuits, and they could be causing you a problem. But anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, join the Facebook group, join Patreon. Have a look at my new website with all my um, CB modification boards on it. And thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next episode.